Hi everyone, my name is Natasha Duff. I'm a senior lawyer with Corny and Lynn Lawyers. Today I wanted to discuss with you the importance of having your employment contract reviewed before you go ahead and sign that contract. Now, I understand that when you're offered a new position, um, you're not necessarily concerned with the fine print of your employment agreement, but it is going to have an impact on you uh, as the employment relationship progresses down the track. Now, um, it's important to understand that an employment contract is a legally binding document and that there are enforceable obligations on both you and your employer arising out of that contract. Now, automatically, um, when you're in the employment relationship, your, employ your employer is going to be in a position of power. Um, and prior to entering into the employment agreement, um, they really could use that position of power to sway things in their favour through the employment contract. Now, when reviewing an employment contract, it's important that you have an understanding about what your minimum entitlements are under Fair Work legislation and the National Employment Standards. Um, these standards are going to refer to things such as leave entitlements, carers entitlements, uh, termination provisions and minimum wages. And uh, attached to the back of every employment contract should be a Fair Work information statement um, that will inform you of what these minimum standards are. Now, in reviewing your employment agreement, uh, you're going to want to look for specifically what your rights are and what your employer's rights are. You also want to have a look to make sure that any uh, critical issues in the employment relationship have been set out in the clauses of the contract, whether your responsibilities have been clearly set out, and whether any verbal agreements that you've come to with your employer prior to entering into the contract have been accurately reflected in the terms of the contract. Another thing that you want to consider is whether a modern award applies to your position and if it does, has the modern award been correctly referred to in your employment agreement? Um, where there is a modern award that applies, um, you want to consider the better off overall test in that have you as the employee been put in a position that's better off overall than the minimum requirements set out in the relevant modern award? Now, we tend to have a lot of clients come to us when there's already been a dispute in the employment relationship, uh, whether one party has wanted to terminate the employment agreement or to vary the terms of the employment agreement. We see a lot of issues around restraint and trade clauses, particularly where they're far too onerous on the employee, uh, whether they be too wide or too long a period of time. Uh, we see a lot of issues around unfair termination provisions. And a lot of these disputes could have been avoided had there been a little more foresight at the outset um, to try and negotiate or perhaps remove some of the more onerous clauses in the employment agreement. Um, now, I want to emphasize that um, it doesn't matter what occupation you're in, whether you're a professional, a specialist, a childcare worker, whether you're in hospitality or retail, having your employment contract reviewed is gonna be important particularly because the employment relationship is such an important relationship in, in most people's lives. Um, now, if you would like assistance uh, in employment contract review, here at Corny and Lind, we offer a high point fixed fee advice that we can make available to you online. Um, we have an employment lawyer that is available to service clients in the early hours of the morning or even on a Saturday, um, should you require that. If you want to contact our office or if you have any inquiries, you can reach us at the email or the phone number provided on the screen. Now I want to thank you for listening and we'll see you next time.